And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ash Victor, our next random champion deck. This one was really hard to build to have a deck that was, was like focused around Ash and focused around Victor or, you know, which one should we choose? You know, all that kind of stuff. This was a, a tough one to, to do. We thought about different things like building it with, about Poros or Yetis, you know, having those be like created cards. Um, but fit, ended up going with just kind of a control deck with a whole lot of Frostbite because, of course, Ash really likes the Frostbite. And, um, you know, even a Rhyme, Rhyme Tush Shaman, lots of Frostbite. And then Rhyme Fang Den Mother in here uh, to be able to make some large Rhyme Fang packs. Uh, and Howling Abyss at the top end, you know, so that's going to be our other uh, kind of way to win. So, you know, like we'll have Ash, Victor, Howling Abyss, create random level two champions. And of course, those champions that we're creating are going to be created cards for leveling up Victor. Victor will be doing its Hexcore upgrade. But yeah, basically just kind of playing a lot of defense and protecting our champions using Frostbite, Troll Chant, protect our champions, stay alive, get Howling Abyss in play, stay alive and win with those level two champions also. So I don't know, like, you know, we'll, we'll try this out. We'll just kind of see how it goes. This was a, a difficult deck to build, like I said, but uh, this could do some work. So um, iterative improvements in here to make some copies of these different followers. That's good for Victor. Uh, we can time trick to, you know, find our champions or find Howling Abyss, you know, find whatever we need there. Uh, and that's about it. So... All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to be heading on over to normal and playing our five games with Ash Victor. Um, question is, will the mana boost from Victor matter much? Probably not. Like, I, I don't know if we're going to really get that mana boost from Victor too much. Like, we got to play seven creative cards for it. That's going to be difficult to do. Uh, we ha I have one Aftershock in here just to destroy Landmark. Hmm. Sentry is an important card for us with the card draw. And so I'll keep Sentry in like the way to copy Sentry. But Sentry's not necessarily that great in this matchup. These old eyes still see far and clear. Rhyming Wolf can be good. This land is ours. Nice combo. Rhyming Wolf could be good with that with some frostbite. Howling Abyss can be good. Trades ease. No trades backs. Hmm. Okay, that could be important. This card is good against Braum. So there's that. I just want to give them the opportunity to maybe play something else or, you know, tap under or something like that. If their plan is just troll chant, we have troll chant covered. Leaping into action. I'm willing to trade Ice Veil Archer with either one of those if they want to trade. Routes closed. Ugh. That's a good card. <laughs> but still killed one. They just got five total cards over there. We got more than that. Feel bad for not playing Howling Abyss. No. Bad Scar Grounds. Bad. I feel like this attack's not going to go that well for me. Like, they have, like, another, uh, you know, deal one damage to everything. I don't know. I kind of like passing here. They waste mana. I get to, you know, get my mana back. The problem, of course, is that I don't really block very well. I am good. 
gonna go with that option. It's nothing personal. Ooh, okay. Good. Love getting that card out of here. My destroy landmark card. You only have two cards left in hand, that's not very many. Shaman could be really strong. Like we can like shaman, iterative improvement, make another shaman, and like we're frostbiting a couple of things every single round. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. That can start making their life pretty difficult for frostbite and everything. Another brilliant design. And then again, the Tark has. With the scar grounds, we'll add the on power. Claw will purge the weak. <sighs> Maybe I should be playing Howling Abyss instead. World. The frost reveals all to me. Kneel before me. Hello, my darling. Man, this is gonna be tough. A true Felionian welcome. Let's see. What All right, so right now that's six damage to the Scar Mother, or like six. The thing's gonna be six power or eight power. Oh, because it's six, and then the Scar Grounds gives it two. Man, the only cards we couldn't see was like Vladimir. That also drains. Okay, let's go there. You'll make a fine totem. Let's make a two. A great mind must never idle. My life for Avarosa. <sighs> That's rough. I do have the troll chain that can save me for life, but I also want to make sure to protect Victor just in case. That doesn't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what that accomplished. But all right. Save the homestead. Just another winter. <laughs> Genius in action. All right, howling abyss, help me out. No! Oh man! My work. That hurts. Hollywood is really gonna have to help me out. Nothing 
Nothing escapes my watch. Sleep is for the guiltless. Guess we just play the Icefall Archer to get it in play. Winter, take it. Fight or die. Yeah, that's a good draw by them too. Another overwhelm unit. Another unit for draining. I guess that's it. Man, what can I draw you last round? Yeah, I mean, that's it. Alright, perfect last two cards they had. Vladimir plus Scorcher, right? Because that Victor probably takes over with the lifesteal. Like, we probably get, you know, another keyword that helps it attack. So 20 gangplank is going to be difficult. I want to send all these back. We're going to have we're going to be able to get more flash freezes, but we need some bodies. Sentry's a good blocker, but it also dies to parlay. I don't know if the wolf would have ever killed anything. They never had like zero power attackers because of the scar grounds. That was just So I guess those are like their last four cards, right? Where scar grounds yeah, that was that was yeah. Scarground, Scarmother, Vladimir, and Scorched Earth. That was that was great. I'm expecting make it rain right here. Okay. I'd much rather trade Avros and Sentry for a body than trade Avros and Sentry for just a one damage spell. kill in well, they get to do one point of damage to me not too bad harpoons are valuable removal spell the fact that they're willing to use a harpoon on on that little wolf does kind of convey that they have more harpoons in hand. So I think we can expect more harpoons coming from them. Oh, they took my sump treasure? Not trading with 3 1. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Go Howling Abyss. To fight they want not too bad at trades Azir you need not follow but you will witness oh they stole my howling abyss Attacking. And 
here nabbing some good cards from me. Whoa, Thresh could be good. Thresh could be good. Pain is nothing. I want to do that so that just gives Azir some more health, right? Like, I could wait, and like, but the Azir only has one health by doing that right there. Azir has five health. Man, Trindamir? I'm gonna be worried about them frostbiting stuff. Alright, which one do we get? Do we get Victor or Ash? Them down to zero. Wield your fury. Going down to zero. All right. Well, that was pretty. That was a good howling of this game right there. A zero was really nice, and then so was the rush. GGS. We got Ezreal Nami. Nami Ezreal puppy. You think we can beat Nami Ezreal? I feel like double sentry is just like asking to get make it rained. But I'm gonna keep him anyway. We want the card draw. These old eyes still see far and clear. For the homestead! Puppy. Don't blink, or you'll miss me. Winter take. That card's not bad. I will unite the frail yard. Luck. No, my dead mother. It's not ours. That's heck of rude, no puppy. It's also three targets for Ezreal. Alert the village. I'm out. A little late there, Ramping Wolf. If you could back it up, so I'd like to play the shaman, kind of opens me up to attacks, and you know, I won't have the iterative improvement for the shaman, but uh, we may want the iterative improvement for the wolf anyway. I think we can probably play the shaman. Winter, I think if they use a three damage removal spell and kill the shaman, I think I'm okay with that in this world where I have Ash in play right now. It's not exactly weak, oh but man, it is that's exactly terrible. Awesome. See. Okay, I like the path though. stand together. This is really, really frightful because damage-based removal is great against me when I'm sitting with like <laughs> these, you know, just like frostbite spells. They don't really matter very much. Yeah, that's... I can't do anything about this. I'm sure I can level up Ash, but still dies. Continue without me. <laughs> Check me out. can see the Devastian border from here. If they're out there, I'll spot them. All right, we're going to need more cards, that's for sure. Congratulations. 
Brace the current or be swept away. A true Felionian welcome. Find the moonstone. I will save my people. Okay. Time. Always a weakness of Ash Frostbite decks Watch is her. decks with tons of removal because it just neutralizes your Frostbite cards Ooh, and Ash good. itself. Ash, Rhymefang Wolf, Rhymefang Den Mother, these cards do not have very much health. So your cards don't have very much health, your remove your Frostbite cards are now kind of useless. And that's how it goes. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. Gotta go with the flow. Yeah, this is genius in action. Unfortunately over. So one and two now, right? I think I, yeah, I, think I already changed that. Frostbite's not even good against Nami, so not only is our opponent doing stuff that's like already really good against us, but then having Nami in play just mitigates the, you know, the power of the Frostbite, and it's just you all dropped over. Something. I dropped everything! Alright. Okay, so that is the worst matchup. Great, good hand for the opponent. GG's. Lucian Poppy. This one should be a better matchup for us because they actually care about attacking and blocking, and so Frostbite's going to be stronger. The only problem with that, of course, is that Poppy just grows everything to an extent where Frostbite's not as important. But I guess if we can, if we can just keep Frostbiting Poppy, it won't grow things. I kind of want to keep this hand, you know. Like I was like looking for things to mulligan, but you know, I like having the early blocker. I like the Frostbite blocker. Control chance is just like, you know, a really good useful combat trick whenever combat is important. And then we have our way to win with the Howling Abyss, so we'll just kind of keep everything here. It's a difficult one to figure out. There they go. They decided to do that. They're out there. I'll spot them. In Avarosa's name! I don't expect him to block. I think we can get two free points of damage in. Okay. Nope. Good draw, good draw. The sun's out, the crowd's ready! Let's wreck it! A chill in the air. No one's the wiser. Ooh, how about that? Nothing to do right now. I can see the Debastian border. Guess we can make another one of these. And I'm gonna save the two man, I'm not gonna play the time trick. Victor, why didn't you show up last round? Could have played you last round. Let's take a real close look at the action. Look out for reapers. Okay, lots of damage over there. So we now to seven. I'm playing the victor first so that we can start trying to find life steal. Um, getting like double shaman in play would not have been bad either. 
maybe I should have done that. Just like play shaman next round, play shaman again. Today's the day I find that hero. Huh. Is perfection. So aftershock, Poppy, or shaman. I stand for Noxus. Seven six. Submit. Alright, maybe we kill this thing. Shock that thing. Out with the old. I rely on a couple of troll chants. I mean, you're not the best blocker. Fight. Fight. Yes, of course. So I have frostbite and one regen. Nice. All right, team. Adventure time. Yeah, I gotta use that. I think we're still going to be just fine. Okay. Plus and minus. And we just block here. We go to two. Block here. We go to negative four. That's kind of bad. Block here. We go to three. Three's sounding like the winner right now. Yeah, three sounds like the winner. This game won. We definitely had this game won. You know, like we play the Rhyme to Shaman. Their third poppy. After we already killed one. Yeah, I'll be there to draw here. What a den mother. Shrouded world. Ice runs in our veins. You'll make a fine totem. Oh wait, I was, already, I was already going to two. I didn't need, need to use that other one, but oh well. There we go, I'm still. But man, we had that game one. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't need to play that last one. The frost reveals all to me. Flesh is a weakness we must share. I'll write my own story. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Alright, so I can shoot the 2 1, or. This just grants everything else plus 2 plus 2 in impact. I guess you never know. It may not open attack. I'm gonna get lifesteal. Genius in action! Man, we had this game won until that top deck poppy. So we've had some tough luck losses with these games, which, you know, even out from like earlier, we were having like some 
not top left wins or you know whatever you want to ca call it, but it only grants those two impact. Yeah, we had that game won. I should have opened attack. I should have opened attack. If I would have just done that, and with the slow speed, I think we could have made. I think we could have won that. Raka Brahm again. Howling Abyss good against Raka Brahm. We need to be able to destroy landmarks. We have to just get rid of their landmark. That's yeah, you know, like that's how we're gonna lose the game is the two mana landmark. So potentially we'll find some kind of uh, champion that can get rid of landmarks or kill them pretty quickly. Nothing escapes my watch. A little luck for those who need it. Osu can sniff out any star anywhere. Triple one drop start. They're going aggro. Be brave. Look out for reavers. They're going aggro. You can see the Nabastian border from here. That card's good. All the world on one arrow. <laughs> Show me a target. Basically, don't want to trade one of these spells for the Avros and Sentry, and I think so because like they are they are actually you know putting up some some pressure. I think that does kind of force me to uh, you know use a spell to get rid of one of their things. Iterative improvement. What do I want to do with that? Do this. Winter take. We could copy Icefill Archer. Could have copied the Crystal Ibex and had a 5 5 Overwhelm. No time to rest. Or, no, no, no. Yeah, it's a 5 5. No, okay, yeah, it just grants Overwhelm. Something else. If it's a fight they want. Maybe I should copy this. Maybe I should be copying the Archer. No, please. I didn't. I want to have all three mana, like for like flash trees. Wow. What's that? They are going aggro. Le Blanc. Is it the Mustache? Who knows? You need three. Man, but I want to play Leblanc. The best lives are beautiful. Can't really level you up. Which, you know, I want to level up so it would be six power, so we have six and six for the powers. Wasted effort. Take four, go to eleven. Not the best champion to hit. Okay, so we're at 11. Oh, and this only creates copies of, yeah, allies with 5 plus power. Reporting in. If they're out there, I'll spot them. My move. 
Yeah, just letting them draw a card. Good mirror image. These are Avarosan lands. Only if you can defend them. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah, so Teemo Nexus Strike when there's no puff caps does nothing. It'd be nice if they change it so it would say like Nexus Strike. You know, double the poison puff caps in the enemy deck. If there are none, then plan five. Right? Like, why? I don't know why it doesn't have that. I guess they just assume that there's always going to be poison puff caps. But whenever you have like a howling abyss, like, might as well just like plant five. I don't know what the harm in that is. Useless pawn. I've got meat bigger than you. Leveled up Rom. Alright, if we go Fury of the North, that costs 5 mana, so I'd have 4 extra mana, so I'd have no interaction. For if they do more stuff. I think it's worth it, though. I don't expect needing to have more interaction for any for anything, really. That could be a problem. <laughs> kindred. Oh man. Now do I make double kindred? Or do we make double Darius? Double Kindred, if we slay something, could be marking multiple things, and that sounds really cool. Or just, you know, like, attack for 20. That also sounds pretty cool. This is not as good against Frostbite. Double Darius. Never Double Kindred. Without the other. Without the other. I am completely relying on the Rhymefang Wolf to kill something, though. So, I guess maybe that's not so great. Alright, only two cards left in hand. And of course, I want to get this mirror image out of my hand before we create a new one. Mark different things? Are they marking the same thing? I'm not getting any younger. How's this working? Wait, why would this thing I don't know what's going on? I guess Double Kinder doesn't work. The reason why I'm attacking with both is so it does 8 damage so that we do get another mirror image in hand. Yeah, I guess they mark the same thing. That's crazy. I guess Double Kinder doesn't work. So I got this one, this is 7-7. We should still be good from here. We got the Harsh Winds for protection. Now that we got rid of that Braum, don't imagine that 
they're killing us. Alright, so 4 3 grows that. You block there, you block there, you block. Uh, Are there, you there. certain? Take three, go to eight. I think we can take three and go to eight. Yeah. Okay. Fast now. No. Mine is the hand of Noxus. No. Oh, wait. What? I thought they were going to destroy my Howling Abyss, and I was all sad, and then they did. And I was like, wait, what? Alright, so Double Kindred didn't work last time. Does Double Darius work? The possibilities are infinite. This world has such great potential. Yeah, I figured, like, if they had, like, a pump spell to to have the Braum survive, I didn't want... If they had a pump spell to have, like, their thing to survive, I didn't want them getting, like, the free 3-3. Three, three. Uh, you don't really do anything right now, do you? I don't think so. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Tremble before the Winter's Claw. Death by my hand. Don't let them reinforce. So get rid of that thing they can block. Me. And that's game. I understand. Bold, aren't you? You are better. Oh, the others. This has to be like some kind of like frostbite or something spell. There's no, there's no block they can make that keeps them alive. Okay, I have to do some cool kindred stuff. That was good last game. I have to do a whole bunch of cool Howling Abyss stuff. So both of our wins were cool Howling Abyss stuff. Had a couple of close losses that just went out that went our opponent's way. Um, but it was a fun deck to play because Howling Abyss is a lot of fun to play. Victor is pretty fun as well. And all this Frostbite, Ash, Rhymefang Wolf with a bunch of Frostbite, Rhyme Touch Shaman. Those are all pretty fun cards. So I enjoyed the deck. I enjoyed the deck, and that's what Random Champion at Casual Friday is all about. Finding some different combinations that we wouldn't normally play. You know, like I've never played Ash Victor before, for example, and just having fun with it. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know if you would have built the deck in any different way, and let me know, uh, you know, like that. Or if you tried it out yourself, how does it go for you? Um, or, you know, maybe this is giving you some good ideas, seeing these different cards interact together. Or maybe you're uh, trying out your own random champions and just kind of rolling the dice and seeing what you, you know which champions you get and what kind of decks you build. I don't know. Leave those comments. Let me know, um, you know, about any of those. I'd like, like to hear about it. But that's going to be it for Ash Victor. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.